It lets you book tickets for the Shinkansen from your phone or PC and you might get a great discount if you use it early enough, but although it's convenient, using Smart EX might be the dumbest move you make. Why? Well, I'm going to tell you when you want to avoid using Smart EX, what to do instead, as well as how much you can save, which might be as much as the cost of one night's hotel stay. But before we get to that, first we need to rewind a bit to this morning to your breakfast. Let's say that you've got your lovely golden brown toast on your plate and you lather that bad boy up with jam. Or for those of you with proper taste, Marmite. Well, the tickets for trains in Japan are a lot like this. There are two parts, the basic fare part, which is the toast, and the limited express part, which is the jam. The basic fare ticket lets you ride slower commuter trains to your destination. That's the most basic kind of journey you can do. But you can combine that with a limited express ticket to upgrade to faster trains like the Shinkansen. Now when you use Smart EX, both tickets are combined into one. So your toast is already slathered in Shinkansen jam. Yeah, that's not a word. But when you go to the machine or counter, you can usually get each ticket part separately. So how can this save you money? Imagine you're quite hungry and you want more toast. You can either buy an extra slice or you can just use a larger piece of bread. You get the same amount of toast, but a bigger slice is cheaper. Well, tickets in Japan work like this. A a basic fare ticket for a longer distance is usually cheaper than two tickets making up the exact same journey. But here's the ninja trick. You don't have to cover the whole distance in one day. According to JR's rules, a basic fare ticket for a journey over 100 kilometers allows you to make unlimited stopovers on the way to your final destination. You get a set number of days to finish the journey and the greater the distance, the more days you get. This means you can make multiple journeys towards one destination with the same ticket, just as long as you don't backtrack. Then to use the Shinkansen, you just need to buy separate limited express tickets for the specific days you want to travel. Now, it sounds complicated, but it's not really. So let's look at a sample schedule. You start in Tokyo and you want to visit Kyoto for a few days before you go on to Hiroshima. You buy a basic fare ticket from Tokyo to Hiroshima, which is valid for six days. And then you buy one limited express ticket for the Shinkansen on the first day only to Kyoto. You'll get to keep your basic fare ticket when you arrive in Kyoto because that's not your final destination. And then when you're ready to go to Hiroshima, you buy another limited express ticket for day four that takes you there. Now, if you only use non-reserved cars, this method costs about 21,000 yen. But if you used Smart EX, you'd end up paying more because you're basically using two smaller slices of bread. Even with the most discounted advanced ticket available, it's still almost 1500 yen more expensive, but more likely it's going to be more expensive by almost 4000 yen. And that's because the best discount tickets sell out really quickly. Now 4000 yen will cover you for two really good dinners or enough pocky to give all your friends back home, even if they're not your friends. Now the great thing about this method is that you can buy the tickets anytime and they always cost the same. You don't need to book in advance and since this stopover rule applies on all JR lines, you can do this anywhere you go. The greater the distance you travel, the greater the savings you can make. When I used this method to travel between Nagasaki and Nagoya, stopping over a few places along the way, I was shocked at just how much I had saved and it was really simple to do. So how do you make this method work? Well, first you check the distance to your final destination with a journey planner. For example, Ekispert tells you the distance right up here. Next, you check how many days you get to finish the whole journey and you have to look on this page to do that. I've linked to it in the description. Once you've figured all that out, go and buy only the basic fare tickets. And then after that, buy separate limited express tickets for the Shinkansen for the specific days that you need. Now this is really easy to do at the ticket counter, especially if you write it all down. Staff will know what you're doing. They're well aware of this rule. You can also write in English. It's really not a problem. Just make it clear that you want one base fare ticket and a separate Shinkansen ticket for each leg of the journey. Ticket machines and online reservation services allow you to do this too, because you'll see a button to buy only the basic fare ticket or only the limited express ticket on the screens. When you do it for the first time though, I do recommend you go to the ticket counter because you can then confirm exactly what you want to do with the staff. But what if I told you that you can get bigger savings than Smart EX, but without getting your head around this fancy ticket rule? Well, it's your lucky day because that's what this next one 
is all about. If you head over to any of the big travel agencies, you can bag Shinkansen tickets between Osaka and Okayama, Hiroshima and Hakata, all with slashed prices. A ride from Osaka to Hakata, which is the main station for Fukuoka City, that would cost you about 13,000 yen if you manage to snag a seven day advance ticket on Smart TX, if you can actually get one. But a discount ticket on Kluk costs 10,900 yen and it gets you a reserved seat as well. And uh, guess what? It's always available. And if you're wondering about journeys up north, you can also get massive discounts on the Shinkansen and Limited Express trains, but Unfortunately, you need to use the Japanese version of Ekinet. Now, it's definitely possible with Auto Translate, although it's not that easy for first timers. Now, before we move on, go and drop me a thumbs up if you think I'm being helpful, or then maybe wait until you've heard the last trick, because this one blows Smart EX straight out of the water and helps you save some serious megabucks. So imagine yourself back at that cafe, ready for a sumptuous breakfast. You find that you can get two slices of toast for 1,000 yen, which sounds like a good deal, but when you dive into the menu, you find a killer deal hidden at the back, which is 10 slices of toast for 500 yen. Now, even if you only ate two slices and gave the rest to your friends, you'd still be way ahead on the deal. And if that sounds too good to be true, well, it kind of really isn't. This is precisely the situation with regional passes. Let's imagine you want to do a day trip from Osaka to Hiroshima. You're ready to go and check out Miyajima and the atomic bomb dome and snaffle away some deep fried momiji manju and then you find the price on Smart TX is 21,100 yen return from Osaka. I mean, Hiroshima is Hiroshima, but they're having a laugh, aren't they? Well, close that app like ASAP because I can save you 4,000 yen in a flash by sending you to get JR's Kansai Hiroshima Pass. The whole thing costs 17,000 yen. So just one day trip saves you the price of Okonomiyaki and a couple of beers. But think about it, this pass is valid for five days. You only need to do one or two more journeys using the pass before you've easily saved the price of a decent hotel room for a night. And that's when you're playing on easy mode. If you really wanted to, you could stay in Osaka and visit Hiroshima five times. If you used Smart EX to do that, it would cost 105,000 yen. But with this pass, it's only ever going to cost 17,000 yen. That's saving you 88,000 yen. But if you think that blindly sticking to Smart EX is the only mistake you can make when you come to Japan, think again, because there are lots of noob errors that you can easily avoid if you just follow my advice in this video up here. See ya.